All right, guys, got another beer review for you here today. We have the Blackberry Farm Brewery Boundary Tree Hoppy Belgian Style Ale. Now, I'm not too big on hops, but it is getting pretty hot here towards the end of summer where I'm at up in the 90s, kind of humid. So I like moving more towards lighter ales and uh, Belgian styles, maybe a little bit less than the 8 or 9% behemoths I usually like but anyway I figure I'd try this I think I had it before and it wasn't great but this one might be good we'll see sometimes things change depending on the can but here we go Blackberry Farm Brewery Boundary Tree Hoppy Belgian Style Ale Farm Roots Run Deep Blackberry Farm Brewery in Wallen Tennessee Boundary Tree this this hop forward Belgian style ale features notes of citrus fruit that complement its it's bready malt undertones. A soft bitterness reminiscent of orange marmalade balances delicate spice notes that result from a warm fermentation. 6.5% ABV, 12 fluid ounces. Salt, not salt, spice notes. <laughs> orange marmalade, other good things. I am tired after work, but that is okay. Let's uh, get over there and open her up. Okay. Now this video might still be a bit of... Uh, noisy at least on the photo video side you know of it image side of it um, hopefully i can get a new camera here soon i'm saving up and trying to look for a good camera so if you can recommend one you know feel free maybe a canon m50 or something something for video 1080p anyway that has nothing to do with this video we got the nice thirsty monk glass here we'll see how she pours out good old belgian style i like belgian yeast you know usually it's a bit banana y flowery could be orangey, I guess, like this. Citrusy. I usually don't like stuff that's too hoppy, although I have been known to have IPAs if they are particularly citrusy. And I do like scotch ales, which are, they can be pretty hoppy too. But anyway, this has a really nice orange color. I don't know how well this looks in the lighting. I had to turn the light on because this phone camera is not good in low light conditions, but it um, has a pretty nice foamy, relatively foamy head, white, stark white marshmallow color. Uh, it's pretty orange. It's like a cloudy, opaque, just, just plain orange. Looks pretty nice, like summer. It smells hoppy. Smells a bit hoppy. Also smells a little orangey. But also spices. I don't know what spices they have. It doesn't say, it didn't say like coriander or anything. It just says, it says delicate spice notes and bready malt undertones. Okay. Uh, but it smells pretty nice. It smells nice and refreshing. Good for warm weather or beer or something. <laughs> It is pretty hoppy, not unlike an IPA. So I wouldn't say I really like this <laughs> on first sip. It's not bad though. It is kind of, it's crisp, um, but it is bitter from the hops, but it is, you know, refreshing in a way. This would be a great outdoor, like lazy afternoon summer beer. It'd be pretty good for that. There is a hint of orange and citrus in there. It might open up more as it warms up a bit, but uh, it's not bad. I'm not too big on hops myself, so. If I make any weird faces from the bitterness of the, the hoppy bitterness, that's why. But it's not a bad beer. It is crisp, refreshing. You get a little bit of orange. You get some spice in there, but the uh, the aftertaste and, you know, toward the later body of the taste and everything, is it's, it's pretty hoppy. <laughs> not much else there. But yeah, you get a little bit of orange and you get some spice notes in there. I don't know what kind of spice. I don't know. All spice, coriander, star anise, some generic spice i don't know <laughs> but you get a little bit of orange citrus and you get some spice notes in there uh, but i'd say predominantly it's just kind of a a, a sort of cleaner kind of thinner body refreshing crisp uh, hoppy beer so if you're into that um, i'd say try this it does say it's a it's hoppy belgian style ale so maybe some belgian yeast in there i don't know but um if you like ipas you probably you probably like this because it's pretty hoppy it's a little citrusy um, it's not only hops, so if you don't like any sort of hint of spice or anything in your beer, then maybe you wouldn't like this. But if you like IPAs, I'd say you probably you probably should pick this up if you like it. Um, I'll, I will probably enjoy this on my back deck when it's real warm out. This will be a good beer for that. It is pretty refreshing. It would go good with... It would probably go good with pizza, but most beers go, go well with pizza anyway. Um, I have a long weekend here coming up, so I'm going to go enjoy that. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you like IPAs, I'd say try this. Try other stuff from uh, Blackberry Farm Brewery as well, if you can find it. They have another one or two beers, at least, in these white cans that I want to try or get back to, because I don't remember what they taste like. But um, as far as the 
I can't remember, sorry. As far as the boundary tree, decent, good, refreshing, hoppy ale. Pretty crisp, pretty hoppy. If you don't like hops, don't try it. But if you do, I mean, give it a shot. But anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I have for this. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.